Uh, and Oliver's going to be telling us about, well, he's going to be debunking the myths of modern slavery. I'll, uh, I'll do my best to keep it light, if I can. Um, so my name is Ollie. I've just finished an MBA at the Uni of Liverpool, and I, I want to start... Oh, God, that was correct. What is modern slavery? Uh, modern slavery is situations of exploitation that a person cannot refuse or leave because of threats of violence, coercion, abuse of power, or deception. And modern slavery does still exist. We just need to scratch the surface. No longer whips and chains like we usually know. Types of modern slavery, debt bondage, where someone has to pay off a debt, usually that they never can because the interest is too high. Child slavery, forced marriage, domestic servitude, and forced labour. Today, what you want to hear about is, um, oh, anyway, in the 300 years that we know as the slave trade, there were 12.5 million Africans that were shipped to the New World. Any ideas how many modern slaves there are today? Quickly. Any? Three of what? Well, it's quite a lot. 45 million. 71% of them are females, uh, that account for 59% of forced labour and 99% of forced sexual exploitation. It's quite sad really to, to appreciate that one in four slaves are children. Where it exists, actually it exists everywhere. Um, uh, most prevalent in Africa, 7.6 for every thousand people, which equates to about one in every 132 people. In the UK alone, there's 13,000 modern slaves, which is just under two for every thousand. Can we avoid it? Well, unfortunately not. Today's complex, modern supply chains make it really difficult to avoid. Um, it's in electronics, it's in fish, uh, sugar cane, uh, and clothes, really. Does it involve you? Well, unfortunately it does. Put your hand up if you've got a smartphone. Put your hand up if you've ever bought a Chinese product, or you eat fish. It's most likely that you have been involved somewhere in modern slavery. Fingerprints of slaves, someone's mother, Someone's son, someone's father. Um, uh, what I'm going to do, let's play a game. I'm going to be your semi-conscious, and I'm going to go through a few ways that you may be able to justify being able to live with this. Ask yourself two questions. One, do you do this? And two, is it right? So age restrictions. We can apply some kind of slave, not slave, uh, rule of thumb categorization to come up with some kind of vague assessment on whether we believe that person can speak up for themselves or not speak up for themselves, obviously, may help them to get out of the slavery. So, for example, the time is better next time, don't I? <laughs> oh yeah, all child are slaves, but not adults. Um, the adults are earning some money, at least. So, you know, it's not, it's not really my problem, at least they're earning something. Cultural differences. Our morals are different to their. This kind of cultural relativism helps us uh, maybe divide what we believe to be right here uh, and right in their country. So, for example, well, yes, it would be a sweatshop in this country. It would be a sweatshop in Liverpool, down the road in Manchester. But morals in that country, over there, that we hold at arm's length are different. Therefore, we can justify it. Not my problem. Somehow, they deserve it, don't they? I'm not being funny, but they had an opportunity to go to school. They just didn't take, they didn't take their opportunities. That's not really my problem. Maybe, as well, they don't actually want to do anything about it. This kind of, uh, reducing the problem is kind of the basis um, cost-benefit analysis that we can, that we can make. Um, it helps us shoulder the blame to people, again, over there at arm's length. Plus, I get so much out of it. Forced labour isn't big business? Wrong. Forced labour generates about 150 billion in profit, not revenue, profit. 150 billion is the Apples, the Samsungs, the four biggest companies in the world. Smash those balance sheets together, and that's the, uh, the profit of forced labour. Well, we can't trivialise it really, can't we? We're all slaves. I'm a slave to my phone, <coughs> slave to my job, slave to my family. Sorry, Mum. Um, we're all in the same position. Fortunately, I can't really believe that that's actually the case. That was quick. Now what? Um, the reason I kind of want to put this slide together is because I find myself uh, complicit in modern slavery. And I was quite shocked to realise how complicit I was. Um, I don't think we can, for much longer, adopt this denial knowledge. Um, and I think it all comes down to responsibility. From now on, I believe we have to be responsible for our actions and our behaviours. When we're buying goods and services, um, I think it's important that the history books don't look back on our society today and wonder why we did nothing like we do now when I mention slave trade, plantations, cotton fields. 
Continue the discussion. I don't know the answers. This is kind of a bit of a prompt for you, really. Um, I do want to do my PhD in this, uh, and I'm hoping to get some of your thoughts as well. Thank you.